Hello, in this video we will learn how to multiply two matrices. So you can only multiply two matrices if the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So that is a requirement. It's impossible to multiply two matrices if this requirement is not fulfilled. So remember that you can only multiply two matrices if the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So remember in the alphabet first comes the C, then the R, and so the first matrix should have the same number of columns of C as the second matrix has the number of rows. Very well now. So if we were to say that A is a matrix with dimensions M times N, as you might recall, when we represent the size of a matrix, we always do rows times columns. And so if A is M times N and B is M prime times N prime, it just means that there are different numbers than M and N. Um, and we want to multiply these two to equal to C, then it means that N, which is columns of A, should be equal to the number of rows of B. But now, this, when you multiply two things, for example, if you multiply 2 times 3, you are used to seeing that that's equal to 3 times 2. That's basically the community property of multiplication. So, do you think that the commun commutative property also holds for matrices? Well, it doesn't. So, this, knowing that A times B is equal to C, doesn't tell us anything about B times A. We don't know anything about it. Because the requirement is that the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. This means that if you are multiplying a matrix A with size 2 times 3 and a matrix B of size 3 times 1, you could multiply A times B and get C since 3 is equal to 3. So the 3 right here is equal to this 3 right here, so we can multiply A times B. However, if we try to multiply B times A, you see that you are trying to multiply a matrix that has size 3 times 1 and another matrix that has a size 2 times 3. If you write it like this, you can see that these two should be equal. So right here, for example, we have 2 times 3 and 3 times 1. And so if you put it right like this, you see that these two adjacent numbers must be equal. In this case, these two adjacent numbers, which is the number of columns of B and the number of rows of A, are not equal. So you cannot multiply B times A. However, you can multiply A times B and that gives you a valid answer, a valid matrix. Now, when you multiply two matrices, the resulting matrix will have the same number of rows as the first matrix and the same number of columns as the second matrix. So, the size of C will be 2 times 1. We will see some examples and see how to multiply, but right now it's very important that you know these concepts. So when you multiply two matrices, these adjacent numbers must be equal, which is the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix, and the resulting matrix will have this the same number of rows as the first matrix and the same number of columns as the second matrix. And so I have it written here in case you want to read it. 